Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Card Fight Vanguard Special Fight Pack Volume 4 Booster Pack Opening. This is the newest promo set for the Card Fight Vanguard Standard Format. I've been opening up the last three on the channel, so we finally got in the Special Fight Packs Volume 4. I believe the last ones were blue. I think they're going back and forth between the colors of the packs. We have like the magenta ones this time around. We have some pretty cool promos. I don't really remember off the top of my head what all of them do, but we have like Dual Axe, Arch Dragon, Bursting Lance Dragon, Outer Princess JC, Sludge Monster, Drowhead, Crunching the Leader, Boral, Ben the Ghosty, Tear Knight, Halpolos, and Spear Ray Soldier, which all of them should at least be in all the packs we have here. So let's go ahead, open them up, and take a look at each one of them. So, like I said, I don't know if there's an order or if I, you know, accidentally mixed up the packs, but we should have one of each of the promos in each one of these booster packs. We have Outer Princess JC. I was actually expecting, uh, no, no, it is Nova Grappler. I was thinking Dimension Police for a second when I saw, but it is a wrestler. When you're, uh, uh, when you or your opponent would choose your units for the effect of your opponent's card effects, choose units including this as much as possible. So a very interesting uh, grade one at that for um, that kind of skill. 8k power, so not bad for a booster as well. Um, usually, um, you know, the promo uh, cards for the latest uh, Card Fight Vanguard series have been kind of hit or miss, in my opinion. So let's see where she was on the list out. So she was like the third one down. I probably mixed up the packs because usually they do go in order with all the different ones. Let's see what the next promo is. We've got Sludge Monster Drowhead. So this one is Dimension Police. This is one of the monster uh, units. When placed, counter plus one, and your opponent cannot boost until end of turn. So from the guard circle, that's not bad if you take care of this card early game, just being able to stop your opponent's boosts head on. This guy looks definitely creepy for sure compared to a lot of the monsters for uh, Dimension Police. From the ones I've seen, this one definitely is in the top for creepy um, you know, with a capital C. So we've gotten two star uh, gate uh, units so far. I can't remember. I know Dual Axe Arch Dragon is a Kagero, and I know Ben the Ghosty is a Grand Blue. So let's just see what the rest of the units are. So promo number three. Yeah, obviously Crunching Deleter Barul, what I saw on the list is Link Joker. On rear, when placed, Soul Blast 1, and your opponent cannot turn his or her cards face up during his or her next phase. So it's a lock kind of card for the uh, Deleter and also for locking, so turning face up. Not bad at all. I would say these promos are much better than I expected compared to the last bunch we've gotten. They've all been grade 1, so they definitely fit in more with those power and just you know overall with the different ones we have uh, for the promo packs. On to the fourth promo pack. Let's see what we get. We've got, nope, there's Ben the Ghosty. When put into the drop zone from deck, you Soul Blast one and call this unit to rear. So you have sort of a uh, callback card for, it's a grade two this time around when put into the drop zone from your deck, Soul Blast one. So yeah, it's like a free card when you get that mill, uh, aside from the Soul Blast, obviously, but still pretty usable, I would say, for sure. Definitely, I couldn't remember what Ben the Ghosty looked like either. So very, very goofy looking for sure. We got four left. I'm still expecting to see Dual Axe Arch Dragon pretty soon. Let's see how soon we pull them. We have Tier Knight, Halpolos for Aqua Force this time around. Rear guard when your Vanguard attacks, retire this unit and one of your Vanguards gets plus 10,000 power until on the turn. At the end of that battle, if the attack hit, draw a card. So it's kind of like a, a gamble kind of card. You increase your Vanguard's power, but you know, go for that benefit of the draw with this card for the retire. So it better hit if you want to make up the, you know, retire of the unit that you gave. So we got three packs left. We'll see how far along Dual Axe Arch Dragon is with these cards. Oh, there we go. And he's a 13k with Imaginary Gift Force. Cool. So we don't really see that too. I think actually they might have had some Imaginary Gift Grade 3s in the last promo pack. I know promo pack 2 did not, but kind of last one. Discard a card from your hand. Retire all of the rear guards in your opponent's back row. And until the end of this turn, when your opponent would call a card from hand to guard, he or she must call two or more at the same time. So it's kind of like a unit that makes your opponent use up all their resources since the fact that they get rid of the back row as well. That's a big hit from that. 
them. It's a Vanguard only. If it was Rear Guard or Vanguard, I think it would be a little better of a card. But like I said, it's still not bad, uh, especially for just, you know, a more budget kind of Kagero card. All right, last two. Who are we missing still? Bursting Lance Dragon and also Spear Ray Sailor. So Spear Ray Sailor sounds like an Aqua Force. So it looks like we got like support from these packs for the upcoming two booster packs, which will have Nova Grappler, Kagero, and Link Joker, and then Aqua Force, uh, Grand Blue, and Dimension Police. We have Burn Sting Lance Dragon from rear. When it attacks a Vanguard, if you have more rear guards than your opponent, this unit gets plus 3,000 to the end of that battle, and when that attack hits, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. I was expecting a draw effect at the end of that, but you know, the retire effect with this one isn't too bad. And the only thing is if you have more rear guards, you're kind of already in a pretty good setup compared to your opponent with this card. And I just noticed it's a grade two, so kind of on the fence about this one, honestly. Of the two Kagero promos we had from this pack, I do like Dual Axe Arch Dragon a little better. All right, last one. Let's see. Yeah, obviously we know that it is the Sailor. What am I expecting from it? All right, Spear Ray Sailor is a grade one, five, a thousand power when your attack you when your unit attacks if it is the seventh battle of that turn retire this unit and your opponent cannot call grade zero cards from hand to the end of that battle so you really got to be invested in your excel circles with this card to work but uh you know not too too uh bad i want to see what the rest of the support we'll be getting from the aqua force uh you know, extra booster that's coming out. I know we're getting Glory Maelstrom, and I want to see just some of the other units. I think we have a few better ones coming out. But for promo packs, you know, I'd say we've had worse promo lineups compared to the ones we received in this booster pack. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.